Hi everyone, it's Irina and today we're making butter biscuits as Christmas presents and why not? I do this every year. I actually make lots of little parcels of butter biscuits and give them to my neighbours and my friends as a goodwill gesture at the end of every year. So it's just a nice thing to do and it's so easy in the Cook Expert. So let's start making them now. So I've got the ingredients all ready here to go in and all measured out. So this is 400 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of icing sugar and you know sometimes it's a bit lumpy so we're going to sift it. And so I'm going to put the spice in there straight away and there's two teaspoons of mixed spice here so I'm going to pop that in. And the salt, a good pinch of salt. So all of the dry ingredients. And I'm going to just sift that by just turning on Cook Expert, okay. And just going across and bringing it on to, uh, I'll just start it with 11, okay. And just get, oops. bring it up a little higher, like that. And it just sifts sifts all of the ingredients. So that's a very easy way to actually sift your flour. But make sure that you've got your lid on, otherwise it'll all come up in a puff of, of flour and there. So that's the first thing. Then you put in one egg. You put in 200 grams of softened butter. Okay, softened butter. And two tablespoons of oil. Now I usually just use vegetable oil, but if you'd like olive oil, just make sure that it is a lightly um, flavoured one. So we don't need a heavy um, oil flavour in there. That's basically all you need to do. Throw it all in. And we go back. We go through until we get to baking and go okay. And the first setting is pastry and cakes and that's the one. So we just turn that on and that runs for about one and a half minutes. So it's going to run itself there. So while it's doing that, you might like to just do your preparations. So get everything ready, get your trays ready and all your cutters and everything that you need ready to go because it'll be ready in no time at all. And of course, Put your oven on, okay? So preheat your oven to 180 to 200 degrees. Um, and it's a hot oven, 200, so watch it. Everyone's oven's slightly, slightly different, um, and that's okay. But just watch it. I usually put mine on to 200, ready for that. So that's what we start with. So it's really very, very simple, and it's looking really well, well in there. So we've got another 38 seconds won't be long and it'll be ready. Now during the year I collect jars and all sorts and of course I put the biscuits in them like that and that's a lovely gift and um, also just in little cellophane sort of parcels like that. And remember you can actually make these all year round. You don't need to just wait for Christmas. You can actually make biscuits all year round and they make lovely gifts and they're also really delicious just to have at home anyway. So here it is, it's finished and the texture is excellent. Have a look at the texture of it. Okay, so I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to scrape down the sides or anything. It just does such a lovely job and you can actually see the texture of it is really, really great. Okay. Uh, so that's all you need to do. Now you gather that into uh, a bit of glad wrap and pop it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. It's always good to let the mixture just set for a while. So just 20 minutes in the fridge, not too long, and then rolling it out and using whatever shape cutters you like. I like to use little heart ones because they're kind of cute and of course it's a love gesture, isn't it? So that's what I like to do. And when 
you've popped it in the oven for, for, for nine minutes, okay? So just nine minutes is all you need in the oven. Watch the oven. Don't walk away because they're very easy to burn if you forget them. So nine is, is perfect for me, my oven, but watch it. They just need to be a little brown, not too brown at all. So they shouldn't start getting brown on the outsides. So this is the biscuit and this is what you, you end up with. So they're really crunchy and, and delicious and they last a very long time if you put them into a nice sealed container. So you can make them now, start giving them out. They'll be fine, perfectly fine for a long time, um, right up until Christmas now. So that's a really good idea. And as I said, lots of gift ideas as far as how you can package them. Enjoy, make lots of biscuits. By the way, that mixture will make three large trays of biscuits. So they go a long way. Um, and just for a couple of dollars, you've got some really beautiful, just lovely little gifts. Okay, take care, enjoy, and I really hope that you use your cook expert and make lots of biscuits. Have a Merry Christmas.